Hello. So it's been a long time since I've uh, made a video of my sketchbooks, so I thought I'd take the chance, the opportunity, and show you this. I uh, usually s sketch in a smaller book like this, and I'll do one of those later in the week. But this is a larger sketchbook that I've had for a while. Uh, and a lot of times in sketchbooks you see that painters will put down what they have in their palette and draw the palette even uh, and it's constantly changing the colors we do. Um, this painting which is I did in a workshop in Amsterdam last summer it's the Rijksmuseum. The workshop was by Hugo Costa, a very uh, personable and good uh, excellent teacher. Uh, it's up on uh, looking down at the flower market in Amsterdam and off in the distance is the Rice Museum. And it sort of sets a high standard. Most of my paintings are not as uh, detailed and thought out as this one. So I go more for the impromptu. Uh, this was in uh, the Jewish Museum uh, with the urban sketches of New York City in March. So. This is uh, also at the at the Jewish Museum. This was um, at Espresso Seventy Seven at a coffee shop, an independent neighborhood coffee shop up the street, which I really like. And when this all this staying home started, I thought I would do something different. Uh, I saw scenes in movies that I really liked, and so this one was in a movie called Journey to the West, which is about the monk uh, Zhuang Zhang's journey from Xi'an, China, in the Tang Dynasty to India, and it took like 30 years, and he brought Buddhism back to, uh, Buddhist texts back to China, and I actually went and visited there last fall. Uh, this is uh, people are on TV. I was practicing faces on March 8th. This is uh, when I bought some pansies at the uh, farmer's market. I uh, painted them on the 10th of March. But this is really so tight. I was not very satisfied with it. So I did it again and this is a lot looser. Uh, and it takes in the whole scene of what's in my living room. Um, starting March 16th, that's when uh, the pause, the lockdown, the stay at home really started to take place. This is looking out my win uh, window. This is same scene, uh, just painted a little different on a different day. And I also started uh, painting my lunch. So this was a, or dinner, it was a sherry vinaigrette with baby spinach. This is a Colombian style di uh, lunch uh, with arepa con queso, the little corn cakes and chocolate with uh, soft cheese in it. And you make the hot chocolate in this thing with a wooden stirrer. This is like Korean style, Shin Ramen, which is one of my favorites, with uh, little uh, anch uh, anchovies and nuts put together for a side dish. And the kimchi and the ramen, as you can see, is gone. I painted it afterwards. This uh, was the Urban Sketchers started doing virtual things, and so they said, go to... Uh, a museum or something and draw a picture of what you see. And so I went to the Metropolitan Museum and drew a picture of this Italian chest, but I put it in my living room as a TV stand for my new uh, OLED TV that I bought, seeing as I'm uh, going to be staying home a little more. This is in the park across the street uh, looking, there's a grassy hill there and uh, there was a guy uh, 
looking at his phone, but he brought a cardboard box. And uh, I thought it was really neat the way he had it to reduce the glare. That's where I live in the back and there's a little bit of a cherry tree or something over in the next street. Back with the Urban Sketchers, we went to Amsterdam on the 28th of March or the 20th. Uh, so I painted that little scene. And then in the afternoon, we went and painted another scene. And this we did on uh, using uh, Google Earth uh, Street View. So that's people dining at, at the cafe. Uh, then after that, I said, uh, I have a friend, Sylvie, from Bergamo in, uh, in Italy, who's mm -hmm. also an urban sketcher. And so in her honor, I went to Bergamo, which I visited last spring and did a urban sketch there from Google Street View of a cafe scene in one of their squares. Uh, our sketchers have weekly challenges and so the challenge was to do um, cherry blossoms. So I started, uh, this was April 1st, uh, I started going out uh, and doing uh, pictures in the neighborhood. This was in Woodside, and I got the cherry trees. Continuing with my television scene, uh, I watched the op Philip Glass's opera Nixon in China, and this is when uh, Nixon and his wife come down and they're being greeted by Cho and Lai. I just thought that. I saw it actually when it premiered in New York years ago. This is an Urban Sketcher, a weekend thing on Friday, April, no, Saturday, April 5th. It's uh, a scene from Kim Jae, where I lived in Korea, uh, uh, people on the side of the street. This is where there was an old theater. Now it's kind of like a 7-Eleven with free Wi-Fi. Uh, the next Urban Sketchers, uh, virtual was virtual meetup we were supposed to think of something from uh, our youth and uh, I thought back to the Woodford's Corner in Maine where I used to go to the the movies for 20 cents uh, and this was actually when my father took me to the movies uh, the night of my um, little brother's baby shower and then this is, I didn't like it, so this was a practice thing, and I went and fixed the the, the perspective in the overhang. In some ways, I like this better. This was a mock-up for that, but then I went back and fooled around a little. Sometimes we do that. Uh, also, sometimes we do... Uh, practice drawings to compose things, and... Uh, and this is another cherry tree blossom in Woodside, April 6th. Back to TV, this was two governors, same, uh, oh, a scene from saying two governors. Uh, it was the National Theatre in England, and they just had such wild costumes and wallpaper I couldn't resist doing a doing a thing here's another virtual sketch uh, with the urban sketchers it's in Cheongpadong in in Seoul um, Korea and a little street view with a guy sitting next to a shop and now I go back to fill in the thing uh, I've been, there's a park across from my street, so, um, so I've been practicing doing people. So this, on this side of the page, uh, more recent things, April 26, people in the park. There's another one, a mother and a daughter chatting. And these are all different poses of people walking the dog with their shopping carts, et cetera, et cetera.
Here's another one. Uh, we have a lot of sunbathers on the little roof, the the hill in the back. People are wearing masks now. End of April. More practice, more mask practice. And that's when you look off to the side of the park. Uh, and actually, I have a nice, this is another one. It's not in the book, but uh, this is what the park look like, looks like from my living room window. Uh, you can see the grassy knoll that they put in and a lot of nice, a lot of benches and people are really using them, which is nice to see. More people in the park. This was the, all the same guy. Uh, I really like the colors and the, try to get the different poses. This was uh, a play, 42nd Street. And as you can see, the faces didn't come out so well. The, the, the theatrical costumes are always a, a draw for me. This was uh, Stephen Sondheim's birthday. Uh, it was televised, and this was Meryl Streep, Audra McDonald, and Christine Baranski singing The Ladies Who Lunch. Another TV thing. Here's the guy, one of the people in the, he's here every day. I call him the exercise. He's in the park every day uh, exercising. Uh, compositional drawings for this one. So that. Another practice. Values. I'm thinking, did we see this? I like this one. It's in Elmhurst with the, with the cherry trees. Another practice one for my Korean one. And this is uh, when we had a flyer of, of our uh, neighborhood with the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds uh, on April 28th to salute the uh, people working who work, all the people who work, and we thank, we're thankful for them. And that's it.